Hi everyone. In this SOLIDWORKS video, I'll be showing how to use the replace face command. The replace face command is used to replace a face in our model with a surface body. The big advantage of using the replace face command is that it gives us flexibility in our modeling process as the surface body we use to replace the face with does not have to be an exact match. In this example here, I'm using this blue and this brown surface. And if I look at the face I'm going to be replacing, that's going to be this L-shaped face right here. I can see it's not an exact match for this blue surface on the side. But the replace face command can automatically recognize that and trim or extend a surface as necessary to replace the face with it. To run the replace face command, I'll launch it from the surfaces tab of my command manager. And I need two selections. The first selection will be the face or faces that I want to replace. And the second selection will be the surface or surfaces that I want to replace it with. So in this case, I'll be replacing the left and the right faces in my bracket. So I'll select the left face. And then I'll select the right face. Then for my surfaces that I'll replace them with, I'll select the left surface and then the right surface. It's important that I select the surfaces in the same order that I select my faces in, in this case, left and then right. That way, the replace face command knows which surface should go to which face. Finally, I can click on the green check mark to complete the command. And I can see that my body will automatically be extended to match up with the blue and the brown surfaces. In this example, my body has only gained material, but the replace face command can also remove material. And in fact, depending on the location of your surface, it can add and remove material simultaneously depending on where the surface is located relative to the face. Now that I've run the command, I no longer need these surfaces. So a quick option I can use for the surfaces is to just hide them. And I can hide them by moving my mouse over them and then hitting the tab key on my keyboard. This will get them out of my way so I can continue with my modeling, but I can also unhide them if I ever need them in the future.